Hey guys, and uh, welcome to another segment of Rouser World. Today, what we're going to be doing is a quick uh, cartoon drawing of uh, Rocky Balboa. Um, definitely one of the legendary movies of my time, of all time. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, for this exercise, we just have a black and a gray uh, marker here. Uh, so you don't need anything really special to do this picture with. Uh, just kind of pay attention and follow along. Okay, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do here is I'm going to start by doing a head shape, okay? So I'm just going to kind of draw his hair here. Since we're kind of doing a three-quarter view, um, we'll add the back part of the hair there once we uh, get to that part. We won't just put it in there yet. everything you do guys when you're doing a cartoon drawing is you're doing a uh, basic shape so you'll see how the picture this kind of looks like a bunch of shapes uh, working together so that's what I do I, I kind of take my time on, on every drawing there's no need to, uh, to get into a rush um, you just uh, kind of relax draw <clears throat> and um, understand the mechanics of how uh, things are, uh, are, are built and understanding that will take a lot of the anxiety of getting your picture right out you know it's just a matter now of you interpreting the shape uh, of the particular uh, person that you're drawing so here I'm just going to put his boxing glove here see what I'm saying right now I'm not looking per se at his glove anymore I'm just kind of knowing well I looked at the basic shape of the boxing glove and I said well this kind of looks like this to me a little bit and then I just start drawing you see okay now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to do his eyebrows And then we're going to go ahead and put the eyes. Now, what we want to do here is you see his eyes take a kind of a downturn. So when you're drawing eyes, you want to look at the dominant curve of the eye. What I mean by dominant curve, which way is the eye pointing to the most? Well, on this picture, you can see that it kind of points down here. Okay. 
now we'll go ahead and put the top fold of skin over the eye. Then we're going to go ahead and put the nose here. Now the next thing that we're going to do guys, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, mouth. So we'll just start kind of with the center here. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and draw that shape. If you guys will look at the mouth there, you see how I mimic the line in the middle of the mouth first. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and draw the bottom part okay so let's go ahead and downsize that a little bit more And as you can see guys, we have a pretty good uh, drawing here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna color in the eyebrows a little bit here. And now what we're gonna do, let me uh, actually put a little bit of more muscles over here. Make sure, make sure it kind of fits with the picture. I kind of made his gloves a little bit big for the cartoon effect, but okay. Now, um, next we're gonna do, guys, is our shading, okay? So for our shading, we're gonna use our gray, okay? So what I wanna do here is I'm gonna put a shade here on the side of the nose, underneath the nose, so that what I'm doing is I'm kind of enhancing the curve of the nose, okay? Now I'm gonna put kind of a little bit of shade under the eyes here. And then here, I'm gonna put a shade on the side of the face. And I'm gonna accent the contour. See what I'm doing? If you look at it, I'm accenting the contour of the face. Once again, guys, remember when you're drawing, cartoons you have to have to have to understand how the face is built and uh, if you don't understand how the face is built then it's going to be hard to uh, very difficult for you to make a convincing caricature so uh, my advice to you is to uh, definitely uh, study different art books uh, I have a few actually that I learned uh, a lot of information from um, in fact, uh, I can't uh, recall the uh, actual, the, the name of the author right now as I'm drawing because I just thought to say that while I was on film, but uh, maybe on my next video, you guys can, uh, I'll put that information out for you. Or if you just go to my YouTube, my, uh, my Facebook page, I have a lot of uh, different uh, resources that you can uh, tap into to uh, help you with your art game there. Okay. Now guys, what I'm gonna do is we're going to um, go ahead and do the hair, okay? Um, hair is pretty easy, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna use an art skills marker. Okay, this marker I like to use because it's uh, it covers a lot of ground really fast. So here, what I do is I like to put the planes in my hair first. Okay, let's just downsize it a little bit more. Now we're gonna make it, we're gonna kinda of come in from the side. So I kinda of touch the side of the hair and then I just kinda of bring it in that center point point. 
And I like to leave some light there, you know. Okay, then we're going to come around here to the side. <clears throat> and we're going to do the same thing. You see when I colored that, when I added that last shape in guys, y'all know you saw me add a piece to the back of the hair uh, early in the drawing. When, you, when you're drawing someone's hair or you're drawing a picture, sometimes you have to do adjustments in the picture. It's not like I just sit down here and then all of a sudden I'm just this computer that can, uh, that with a picture automatically comes out right uh, with my first stroke. So in the end, the basic thing is to not, if you're going to be drawing with markers, you, you have to be able to uh, draw with the mindset of I can't uh, draw myself into a corner and you only use definitive moves when you absolutely have to do it and usually that's going to be uh, toward the end of your picture where you'll see or like your eyes for instance these are where like when you see I drew the uh, I drew the dominant fold of the eye first okay that's so that I'm not drawing myself into a corner I want to get how the eyes generally behaving in the picture and then from there I go into the specifics of the eye, eyeballs, stuff of that nature. So uh, that's a very important tip you want to uh, jot that down. Okay, I'm just going right here. I want to darken these eyeballs in a little bit more. And then I also want to darken my, this part here. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, darken that line there. And you only use your real darks kind of where you want your eye to pull to. If you notice in this picture, his hair seems to be a very, is you know, very uh, contrasting compared to the uh, the rest of the picture. However, it aids to uh, to the realism of the picture. It's still a cartoon, but it looks like a real cartoon in other words you know I don't know if you guys ever uh, heard of Archie the Archie comics the old ones they got some pretty good stuff in there too I was very I, when I was a kid I used to uh, watch that uh, particular series a lot so it was pretty cool okay guys so we're pretty much done here um, what I'm gonna do is just, just like little shiny marks on this thing here And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just start closing out. Okay. So uh, what we'll do is put his name here. Oh, let me just finish this eye real quick. Okay. I'll do this real quick too here. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put the name here. I wanna take this time, guys, to thank you uh, for watching our video on our tutorial. Uh, we'll be posting more videos and tutorials soon. I hope that you uh, enjoyed our segment today. If you also would like to show your financial support uh, for our channel, guys, we would definitely uh, appreciate that as uh, it would help us to uh, alleviate some of the costs that go uh, with uh, a channel or running a channel uh, like we do uh, trying to basically keep it consistent so you guys will uh, uh, water your seed of art <laughs> so to speak we want you to you know get better at what you desire to do and uh, definitely arts a, uh, a healthy outlet there's so many other ne uh, negative ways you can uh, uh, be spending your time so art definitely something that you know we approve of here at browser world okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and uh sign my name and uh we're done guys don't forget to uh subscribe below thanks again for watching
and we'll be seeing you guys next time.